Hey, good morning, guys. We're uh, getting ready to work this group of sheep, and uh, there's some goats in here too. We put a few goats in here to keep the brush controlled uh, a little bit better than the sheep do. Um, I don't know. I think there's probably around 450 or so total females uh, in here, plus their kids and lambs. So. It'll be all day. We're starting early and we picked this day because it's supposed to be cooler. We've done a few things here at Travis's now. Um, he put a, a roof on this, uh, mainly for the shade, but we can work under the, the shade. It's gonna be really nice, a lot nicer now today. We fixed some of the gates to where they work better and actually swing. We put some pipes in here for post. And we have added a little man gate here. It actually swings, you don't have to pick the panel up to open it and close it. it gets a little old after full day. And this is the, uh, the same alleyway that we had before. Uh, Schlegel Manufacturing made that for us up in uh, up there in northwest Missouri. Um, we had to, we did a few other things to it. Then we got the three-way sorting gate here and the guillotine gate. Here's they come through and then these gates. Turn them to the right or the left. Got a pin over here to the right if we need to sort something off. That's kind of pretty with sunrise in there. So we're going to be given a couple vaccines, just like we always do. This is just a little cold container we made to hold the uh, syringes. This is the CDNT we've been using. Um, I just like it because it's a, a 2cc first and second shot. I don't know if it's really any better or not. And this is the endovac that we give. Um, this, I think it costs about 83 cents a shot. If it if it does half of what it's supposed to do, it's probably worth it. And we'll give the same three wormers like we always do to anybody that that needs worm. We're going to tag um, any potential um, rams or, or kids that we want to keep uh, for bucks or rams. And then we'll turn them back out and decide if they're twins or not so we can keep the ones that are twins, the ones that are singles, will not keep for replacements or for to have for sale later. And we'll castrate with the bands of anyone else. And we just have the wire there that kind of holds our wormer and things that we can use it more effectively. So this bud box was made just oh, basically cattle panels. So we portable cattle panels. And we put this piece of tin inside here. And this end 
when they come in, they can see out of it. Makes them come into it easier. Because right there's the gate to come into, see. So it didn't, didn't cost a whole lot. And uh, this is just old tin we had around. It works real well. This alleyway is just a 10 foot alleyway. It's, no, I don't know, it's gonna hold four or five years in there. I think there's four. There's three in there now, four in there, and a lamb. But that's plenty. The sides drop down. So Travis is getting the vaccines. He's got both guns, one's CD&T and one's the end of back. And he can just give one with each hand. Twins <laughs> checking their eyes. And any other sign of worms, parasites, that they might need. They might need worms. Sam's running the wormer. There's nobody in this bunch that needs worms apparently. Travis then starts writing them down, take inventory of what we have. You think that's one goat pit in here? Queen's, <clears throat> Queen's putting a tag in an ear, ear of one that's a possible uh, replacement ram. We'll find out if he's a twin or not what? by looking at the tag in his ear and then observing him out in the pasture for a few weeks. The other males will get castrated. Any dry ewes get sorted off. And I'm kept busy bringing them up, putting them in the bud box, and then running the game to put them in the chute. So anybody that gets castrated, or any male for that matter, they can have to keep them intact, will get a notch in the right ear. And it just makes it so much easier to sort when you're getting ready for the sale or do something you don't want to get some replacements mixed up with some that you uh, have for the sale. So you can just look at them as they come down the alleyway and and move to the three-way gate, whichever way you want, and check that ear notch. Well, there was one that we're gonna keep, possible replacement ram, or Billy. A little late-born kid here, get castrated. So I position myself back in the opposite corner of the bud box in this gate. The kids and lambs are always kind of shy about going in. Well, I'm gonna have to use two hands. Well, it's been about, I don't know, five, five and a half hours. We're whittling them down. Lots of balling. <laughs> 